it's Janet from Crafting It Up and Creations. I had a little revelation in the last week or so and I just wanted to make a video of some DIY stuff that I had worked on. And this is things that I've actually worked on probably around February, March area and made a few things. Um, thought that I was gonna kind of maybe put them in a craft show but with my daughter being in the hospital and a couple other things going on. Um, she had to have surgery for the lithotripsy for the kidney stone as well. And it just didn't pan out. But I made a few things and I can always put them in another show or maybe even put them on Facebook to see if anybody's interested in them. But I made cloches and I was looking for old knobs or anything that I could find to put on like the top of the cloche to give it like a, a cute handle. And there's several things that Dollar Tree has that make great ideas for doing using on these cloches. But a lot of them are, are for the bigger, you know, containers or the bigger vases that you can find. So let me show you some of the stuff that the Dollar Tree has that you can use for those. Um, they have these six set of, this is napkin ring holders, um, and they're silver. They're really pretty. You can use these for so many different things. Um, so my idea even behind some of the things I do is to kind of get you to think outside the box for when you see things like this. But, you know, you could put something on top of there um, to make it like a handle, and it's just, it's really pretty. You can put the... Um, you could put ribbon around it, you could put the diamond wrap around it, and just even make it even even more pretty. They also have these little um, storage containers. Um, a lot of people have used these for feet to, you know, even to set things up a little higher off the floor by taking the lid off. And it just makes a good idea, you know, you've got that whole big space there for glue and, and using it to, um, put something up a little higher and they have those in um, a, a slightly bigger size I have a set of the eight here so you can see what they look like in the package um, but these are just the smaller ones um, but they have I think a set of six of the larger ones as well they also have and I can't find these at every Dollar Tree I go to so um, about an hour from me, there are probably about six or seven different ones um, that I can kind of go around to. But these are little salt and pepper shakers um, to use for a wedding. And they're really pretty. I mean, they kind of look like crystal, but they are plastic. But they're nice. And you could use those for a lot of different things. I've got one out of the package as well. So you can kind of look at it love to make jewelry and I've only ever really made it for myself. I've included some of that stuff into other shows that I've done, but um, the cloches that I made from the Dollar Tree items uh, just included those really pretty candlestick holders that they have and these cork um, coasters. I'm sorry I keep saying um, I'm trying to stop that, but it's like a set of four cork coasters. And I've used the E6000 to glue that on the bottom. And then these little glaze, glass faces actually fit right inside of there. Now some of them you have to watch. I don't know if they're just a little bit different size, but there's a few times that I've tried to stick them in there and I've ended up cracking these little plastic um, pieces. It would be really cool if they come out with some glass that was about this size. The only, the best thing about this is that it's got that ridge and that it kind of keeps it from, you know, moving around as well. So, and I like that part of it. These are from Dollar General. The little um, rocks with the believe and it had a couple little cute uh, birds on there. The little butterfly is from Dollar Tree and he's on the little wire on this one. And I've just kind of stuck some hot glue down there and stuck it in there, waited a few seconds for it to hold. Um, this is reindeer moss that is from the Dollar Tree. And there is some of the other moss that I've gotten at um, Joann's that's kind of surrounding it. But it makes a cute, kind of like a cute little scene. And so I 
put these on here and I wanted some type of lid or some type of top to go on there to make it you know look like you could pull it up if you wanted to and I thought well I've looked around at different things that the Dollar Tree had I've tried of course the knobs but some of the knobs are just too big these are actually from Joann's are the ones I saw or found and they look like some of the doorknobs that I had seen I love these and I thought now that's pretty cool that would fit on top of that cloche and kind of make it look like it was a knob and I could glue it down and it would look kind of antique looking even now all these actually came from Dollar General these um, things that are inside everything else that's made though is pretty much all Dollar Tree like this is pretty much all Dollar Tree except for the angel and the um, moss that's inside of there this moss is actually from Joann's but I have seen people haul this type of moss from Dollar Tree or you can use the reindeer moss or the Spanish moss they all look pretty good I, just think that this looks really fluffy and it's really soft too this one's a little tree stump and it says hope and I put the little butterfly in the back of that one as well um, and I put, added a little rock in there too just to kind of add just a little more something to it and then this one says joy And I've mixed the reindeer moss in with the other moss. And this one, the wire, I kind of twisted around to make it look like he went in a loop. I always think that's really cute. Um, now this, and like I said, the these coasters, some of them are different sizes. So now this one is actually a little bit loose on it. So um, where some of them are really tight, this one goes in and out. But the other one is really tight. Like if I feel like if I shove it down in there, it'll crack that coaster and that will happen. So just be mindful of that. Don't make the same mistakes I have done so far. And this one says peace. And has the little birdies. And I added some of that long grass from the Dollar Tree that was just in like a little grass bunch. Along with the moss and one of the butterflies. So my thought was, is what I would like to do is make a couple of the cloche tops on this and I would show you my thought process and behind it and, you know, different things that you could use if you really wanted to. Now I went through my bead stash and I found all kinds of cool things that I thought that I could add to um, maybe pocket letters or just different things on these um, just to give it just a little more um, character even. And so, because these are things that um, I have several of, you know, you buy something offline and you get a set of 12 and maybe I make three or four necklaces with it, if that. So this is a real pretty um, intricate piece. I'm trying to make sure it focuses in on it real good. And I've just got several of those. Um, I pulled out several to use. Um, I have this. And these are just beautiful. They are kind of like a clay work bead. Um, just different browns and blue. I'm all about some turquoise. Got several just, this is just a black bead. You know, there's the hole. And my plan is to maybe use a cap to cover it up. It's a green one. And then this one's beautiful. This is like a pink and silver. Um, color it's kind of hard to get a good representation of some of those on this camera and then this was the one that inspired the thought of hey that looks like some of those doorknobs and it's smaller so it'll look you know okay on the top of these things without looking too gaudy big and hopefully if you do like videos like this take the time give me a thumbs up put a comment down below um, let me know if you have any other ideas or if you have pictures of ones that you've done I'd love to see them so this one I used an actual knob that would go on like a cedar chest or um, chest of drawers and glued it to that and it works out really well for this bigger size 
vase. But it seemed like it was too big for the others, and that's what made me think, I've got to come up with something different. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to just start kind of putting pieces together and deciding what looks the best. And actually used the lid to one of the little salt and pepper shakers. And I put the E6000 on it. And put it to the top of one of the... Actually, it's the bottom of the vase, but it's the top of my cloche. And I did notice that some of the glue ran out the side, the edges... Um, after it had dried, but I took my fingernail and actually pushed it back out of the way, and you can't even tell. So I didn't notice that until I took some pictures of it and saw that it had done that, but it was really easy to resolve. And I picked one of the red beads, and I put that on top of it. And I kind of messed around with that and couldn't decide what I liked the best, but at the end, I'll show you what I ended up putting on top of it. So here I glue one of the beads to put on top of one of the cloches. And I picked the angel one, one that looks like kind of like the little cherub. And I kind of like it just by itself, but then I'm like, I just kind of wanted to add something to it. So I picked one of the filigrees. It's kind of a silverish color. And then I glue that to the top of it as well. And in the end, I end up adding a little something else to this one as well. Before the glue actually dries, I add another little silver filigree piece to it. And here's kind of a close-up of it. So I did the same thing and added one of those to the bigger beads that kind of look like the knob. And I really like that. It's so pretty. And I'm thinking, well, I could put it on there. And then I decide maybe to add a little something else to it. So I get one of the metal filigree pieces. And I kind of just add a, a dab of glue all the way around. Now you'll want to wait at least 24 hours for this to dry. And then I added a little spot of glue right to the center where I'm going to stick my bead. kind of place it down in the middle and then my little top starts falling off so <laughs> when I set it down I kind of make sure everything lines back up and I'm pleased to say after it all dried it still lined up really well so I decided to use something just a little bit different and then I put glue on one of these this filigree piece and attach it to the top of the cloche and that really just kind of adds something to it. It really makes it look like the doorknob effect in a way, I think. And I kind of fish around, and I just end up still going for the same beads that I had been using. I kind of looked at some of the others. Um, this one's not completely flat, and I looked at putting that one on there. And it does look pretty, but I was afraid it wouldn't be enough of like a handle. And I kind of fish around and look at some of the other um, ball ones, and they look okay. But I ended up going towards the other one. Now, this is actually a marble that I put in and baked in the oven and then threw it in a bucket of ice. But I ended up going for that one. That's the one I picked. So, I'm going to put a little bit of the E6000 on that. I'm working on getting my money's worth out of that bottle. And then I attach it to that. And they, that E6000 is wonderful. And if it wasn't for other crafters, I may not even know about it. So there's a view of it from the top. And then again, I pick one of the circular ones. And I'm gonna make this one exactly like I did the other one. And I kinda just show you. Um, I'm trying to keep from getting a glue tail. And I glue that right down to the middle of that as well. Here's kind of an overview of the top of them. And I finally got smart. I decided to take the um, 
vases off of the um, other piece so that they were easier to handle. And there's the red one. I was really pleased with how they look. They're really quite cute. And it just definitely added that little bit of something else to these. Well, that's what I have to show you today. Um, some of just some of the ones that I've done. Um, they're still not quite dry yet, but I'm really pleased with how they kind of turned out. Um, the first one I did, of course, I didn't even use that. I just put it on there. This one is uh, the top to one of the salt and pepper shakers along with the red bead. I still want to find something to add to the top of that, but I don't want to put too much more on it. I would like to just find um, a cap to go on it that's flat. And then the other different one I made, I actually made two that were just like this. Um, but I decided to use one of the other ornate pieces that I had. And I don't know, I really like that. I think that that will add just a little something else, you know, to the, the cloche and give it like a little handle. Anyways, I apologize for looking really tired in this video. I feel like I have these bags under my eyes. I went and put um, eyeliner on just so my eyes didn't look so small because my allergies are just killing me this week. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this. I'm trying to get um, you know a, a good many likes on the page if you like these type of videos. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I really appreciate you coming to see me today. Um, if you hit that subscribe button, that lets you know, um, you know, it'll show in your feed that I put up a new video. If you hit the bell, it will actually notify you that a new video has been uploaded. So again, thanks for joining me. This is Janet with Crafting It Up and Creations, and I hope you all have a blessed day.